Hi guys, it's me Amari Jazz. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the rise of baby fat. If you're interested, keep watching. Don't forget to like. Want more exclusive content and special perks? Join my Patreon today and become part of an even closer community. For just four. 99 my bronze members get a special bronze kiss badge two live videos a week early access to my new videos and exclusive discounts on my merch that's 65 percent off upgrade to silver for 9.99 and get member shout outs or exclusive videos every month custom wallpapers and exclusive gifs and emojis to use in your live streams gold members you get a custom emojis to use during videos and streams plus a free birthday gift show off that gold kiss badge and style feeling extra go platinum for 19.99 and be subscriber of the month with shout outs a video of your choice posted and a free gift with every new launch of merch so what are you waiting for pick your level and join my patreon today for exclusive perks and all the behind the scenes fun can't wait to see you there Baby fat, a fashion brand synonymous with early 2000s urban culture, has left an indelible mark on the fashion industry. Launched in 1999 by Kamoi Lee Simmons, the brand was a pioneering force in blending streetwear and high fashion, particularly targeting women of color. Its iconic cat logo and glamorous, ultra feminine aesthetic resonated with custom. Hold on, resonated with consumers from all walks of life, from teenagers to celebrities. However, despite its metroic rise, baby fat experienced a significant fall from its former glory. In recent years, it has made a return, riding the wave of early 2000s nostalgia and the increasing demand for diversity and inclusion in fashion. The fall of baby fat, including its development, the impact it had on the fashion industry, the brand's mission and aesthetic, public and celebrity reception, and its current resurgence in fashion. Throughout its evolution, baby fat has represented more than just a brand. It has been a cultural movement that symbolizes female empowerment, urban luxury, and the celebration of black culture. <clears throat> One, the development of baby fat. Baby fat was conceived as an offshoot of Fat Farm, a streetwear label founded by Kamora Lee Simmons, then husband Russell Simmons. Fat Farm had already established itself as a leading brand in the world of hip-hop fashion, but Kamora Lee recognized the untapped potential of the women's market. As an ex-model with deep connections in the fashion industry, she aimed to create a brand that catered to the style preferences of urban women while incorporating elements of luxury. The timing of Baby's Fat launch in 1999 was perfect. The late 90s and early 2000s were characterized by the rise of hip-hop culture, which increasingly influenced mainstream fashion. With baby fat, Kimura sought to blend streetwear aesthetics with high fashion to create a unique line that celebrated women, particularly women of color, who have been largely ignored by the mainstream luxury brands. <clears throat> From the outset, Baby Fat stood out with its unapologetic glamour and sensuality, offering clothes that were sexy, bold, and deeply rooted in urban culture. The brand quickly gained recognition in large part due to Kimura's presence and influence in the industry. As a former model, she knew how to navigate the fashion world and utilize her relationships to give Baby Fat a higher profile. The brand's one-way shows became legendary for their over-the-top theoretical presentations. Models strutted down the runway in glittering figure-hugging clothing adorned with fur rhinestones and the iconic Baby Fat Cat logo. Kamara herself often appeared at the end of each show symbolizing her leadership of the brand and her embodiment of the Baby Fat woman. Confident, glamorous, and unapologetically bold. The brand's mission and aesthetic. From its inception, Baby Fat had a clear mission to provide fashionable, stylish, and affordable clothing for women, particularly women of color, who were often overlooked by mainstream brands. Kamora Lee Simmons was acutely aware of the lack of representation in the fashion industry, especially for black women and women from marginalized communities. With Baby Fat, she sought to create a brand that celebrated diversity and inclusivity, aiming to empower women to embrace their sensuality and strength. Baby Fat's aesthetic was distinct and iconic. The brand embraced an ultra-feminine, glamorous look that fused streetwear with luxury. It was all about boldness, whether through the use of rhinestones, faux fur, metallic fabrics, or body-conscious silhouettes. The baby fat woman was someone who embraced her curves, loved attention, and wasn't afraid to stand out. The brand also introduced elements of hip-hop culture into high fashion, which was revolutionary at the time. Baby Fat's designs often featured the brand's signature cat logo, which became a status symbol for its consumers. In addition to its bold aesthetic, Baby Fat was also one of the first major fashion brands to target urban women specifically. The fashion industry at the time was largely centered on Eurocentric beauty standards, with a few brands catering to the taste and needs of women of color. Baby Fat filled that void by offering clothing that reflected the style and culture of its target demographic. The brand's mission of inclusivity, inclusivity, inclusiveness 
and representation resonated with women who had long felt excluded from the fashion conversation. Baby fat's impact on the fashion industry. Baby fat's impact on the fashion industry cannot be understated. The brand was a trailblazer in bringing urban fashion into the mainstream and elevating streetwear to the level of high fashion. At the time when hip hop culture was still seen as fringe, baby fat helped legitimize and popularize its aesthetics within the broader fashion world. The brand played a crucial role in the rise of urban fashion, which has since became a dominant force in the industry. One of Baby Fat's most significant contributions was its role in shaping the way the fashion industry approached inclusivity. Long before the current diversity movement in fashion, Baby Fat has already championing representation and creating clothing for women who have been traditionally marginalized by the fashion establishment. The brand's use of models of color, both on the runway and advertisements, helped pave the way for future brands to prioritize diversity and inclusivity in their marketing strategies. In addition to its cultural impact, Baby Fat has also Baby Fat was also a financial success at its height. The brand was reportedly generating hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue annually. Its popularity extended far beyond the United States, with women around the world gravitating toward its glamorous, accessible designs. Baby Fat's success demonstrated the immense purchasing power of women of color, particularly in the urban market, and encouraged other brands to pay more attention to its often ignored demographic. Reception by the public and celebrities. Baby Fat's bold, glamorous aesthetic made it a favorite among both the public and celebrities. The brand quickly became a status symbol in the early 2000s, with its iconic cat logo serving as a signifier of style and luxury. Women across the country, particularly in urban areas, flocked to Baby Fat stores and eagerly embraced its over-the-top glamorous designs. The brand's popularity was further fueled by its endorsement from high-profile celebrities. Throughout the early 2000s, Baby Fat was frequently seen on stars like Lil' Kim, Missy Elliott, Alicia Keys, and Rihanna. These celebrities' endorsements gave the brand a level of visibility and credibility that helped cement its status as a cultural phenomenon. Baby Fat's clothes were often featured in music videos, red carpet, red carpet events, and magazine spreads, further reinforcing its association with urban luxury and glam. In particular, Kimora Lee Simmons became a key figure in the brand's success. As a public face of Baby Fat, she embodied the brand's aesthetic and values, and her larger-than-life personality helped create the brand in the public eye. Kimora was often photographed wearing baby fat clothing and her glamorous lifestyle from her opulent homes to her appearances at high profile fashion events, reinforced the brand's image of luxury and success. In many ways, Kimora was baby fat and her personal brand became inseparable from the label. The fall of baby fat. Despite its metroic rise and massive cultural impact, baby fat's success was not meant to last forever. By the late 2000s, the band began to falter. There were several factors that contributed to baby fat's decline, including changes in the fashion industry, shifts in consumer taste, and internal business challenges. One of the main reasons for baby fat's downfall was a shifting trends in fashion. By the late 2000s, the bold, flashy aesthetic that had defined baby fat was starting to fall out of favor. Minimalism was becoming more popular, and the market for urban fashion was becoming increasingly saturated. Additionally, the rise of fast fashion retailers like Forever 21 and H&M offered consumers more affordable options, which made it difficult for baby fat to compete. Internally, the brand faced several challenges as well. In 2010, Kimora Lee Simmons parted ways with baby fat after his parent company, Kel Wood, decided to take the brand in a different direction. Without Kimora at the helm, baby fat lost much of its original vision and identity. The brand's absence of strong leadership combined with its failure to adapt the changing fashion trends ultimately led to its decline. By the early 2010s, baby fat had largely disappeared from the fashion landscape. While it still maintained a loyal following, it was no longer the cultural force it had once been. The brand's once iconic logo and bold designs had faded into obscurity and baby fat was largely considered a relic of the early 2000s. The resurgence of baby fat. In recent years, baby fat has experienced a resurgence, fueled by a rolling wave of early 2000s nostalgia and the increasing demand for diversity in fashion. In 2019, Kimora Lee Simmons announced that she had reacquired the brand and will be relaunching it for a new generation of consumers. The timing of baby fat's return could not have been more perfect. The late 2010s and early 2020s have been a resurgence of interest in early 2000s fashions, with trends like rise jeans, velour tracksuits, and rhinestone embellishments making a combat. Baby Fat's iconic aesthetic, which had once been considered outdated, suddenly felt right over the game. The brand's relaunch tapped into, its, into this nostalgia, offering consumers a modernized take on its classic designs. In 2019, Kimora Lee Simmons made it official Baby Fat was back. The timing couldn't have been better. Fashion was ready for the return of boldness, for the celebration of body positivity, and for the embrace of luxury and streetwear. The brand relaunched with updated versions of its iconic pieces, but this time it had a new mission. Kamora Lee said, 
When I brought baby fat back, I wanted to take everything that made it special the first time around, but also evolve it for today's generation. We're still all about celebrating women's curves, confidence, and individuality, but now it's about making sure baby fat fits into the world we live in today. That means sustainability, inclusivity, and making fashion accessible to everyone. Kamora's return to baby fat wasn't just about nostalgia. It was about progress. The brand's mission has always been about inclusivity and representation. And in today's world, these values are more important than ever. With a focus on sustainability and an inclusive approach to fashion, Baby Fat is carving out its place in the new fashion landscape. Part of Baby Fat's comeback strategy included high-profile collaborations with brands like Forever 21, making the brand accessible to a whole new generation. These collections feature revamped versions of Baby Fat's iconic designs, the cat logo, the rhinestones, the bold color palettes, but now with the modern twist. A fashion expert said, What's brilliant about Baby Fat's resurgence is that it taps into its it taps brilliant about Baby Fat's resurgence is that it taps into this perfect mix of nostalgia and modern relevance. Gen Z loves retro fashion, but they also demand that brands be more inclusive, more diverse, and more sustainable. Baby Fat checks all these boxes. Baby Fat's resurgence is not just about a brand coming back, it's about a cultural movement. As fashion becomes more inclusive and diverse, brands like Baby Fat, which have always represented the underrepresented, are finding their place in the spotlight once again. Kamora's vision for Baby Fat has always been bigger than just clothes. It's about empowering women to feel confident, strong, and beautiful, and that's why Baby Fat Return resonates so deeply with fans, both old and new. With its rich history, bold aesthetic, and commitment to empowerment, Baby Fat has proven that true style never fades. It evolves, adapts, and always finds its way back. And for a whole new generation, Baby Fat is once again a fashion icon. Oh loves, want more exclusive content and special perks? Join my Patreon today and become part of an even closer community. For just $4.99, my bronze members get a special bronze case badge, two live videos a week, early access to my new videos, and exclusive discounts on my merch. That's 65% off. Upgrade to silver for $9.99 and get member shoutouts, four exclusive videos every month, custom wallpapers and exclusive GIFs and emojis to use in your live streams. Gold members, you get a custom emoji to use during videos and streams, plus a free birthday gift. Show off that gold kiss badge and style. Feeling extra? Go platinum for $19.99 and be subscriber of the month with shoutouts, a video of your choice posted, and a free gift with every new launch of merch. So what are you waiting for? Pick your level and join my Patreon today for exclusive perks and all the behind the scenes fun. Can't wait to see you there.